Well, hello. All right, I got a video on a homemade or DIY do-it-yourself uh, wench cable tensioner plate. All right. Picked up the springs at the hardware store with the washers. So all I did was take this bar out, take it to uh, the hardware store and get washers that fit on there pretty good. And then I bought uh, eight of them. Two for the gold, I welded to the plate, and two for the outside on each side. So, but the plate is just quarter inch. And then just put this bar in there, marked them off on the washer to make them level on the bottom side and cut that part off and then welded them to this plate. Just a little bit in. And then the springs, and I made these tabs out of angle, and they got to be sucked up pretty much all the way up through. But I'll do that when I re when I run it out and respool, because uh, it's got to be respooled. I mean, it's all right right now, but it needs to be respooled. So I just measured measured the width here from you can't really see it but the inside of the drum to the inside of the drum there and then I took away the width of the cable so that half the width half the width on both sides if you just measure you know I think it was three eighths so you just take off half the width after the overall from the top side as this drum goes down kind of boat rounds off at the at the bottom part or not the bottom part but the center part so that is that but it seems to be working for what I use it for right now my next project after I get this dump box done will be the um, on this bottom part down here underneath will be the uh, uh, skitter uh, plate for logs and stuff and it'll be the stand for the three point so I'll do all that and make a nice stand for it we'll, we'll sit on its own it will have a U a U um, not that big but pretty close to here pretty close to about here go in go over come back out probably out to the inside of the tires maybe middle of the tires I don't know yet but we'll go back far enough probably goes in there but I'll put a, something underneath to catch it and then the stand it goes back out but yeah so tension plate done had to do it pain in the ass when you unreal it and it just keeps unreeling you know so you got to take your time on reeling it, putting that plate on there. Really, I think I got maybe $28 in it. The plate, the washers, the springs, the eye hooks, maybe. Even my time in there, you know, add a couple bucks on that, you know, because it didn't take long to do. So, I mean, it's worth it. Seems to be working out all right. That's about halfway right there on that. Got another half over there. Well, kind of half, but just a little over a little bit. But I'll probably slide the washers around. Needs a little refining. But yeah, all right. So, uh, wench plate tensioner, DYI. I looked to buy one. Couldn't one. Couldn't find one for this size. They were all way like 12 14 15 inches and this is only like eight and seven eighths or eight and three quarters or something like that but wide so i just i didn't look very hard i probably could have looked longer but then i was like you know i'll just make one it won't take long so i'm happy with it uh but yeah easy enough to do for anybody to do just take some washers Cut off the bottom part, 
make sure it slides in there put some springs on it you know so but yeah you see how I did it there so the reason I want two washers down here is because I got the tab here just sets on top of this and I ground it off a little bit after but yeah this tab sits on top there in between the washers on both sides and it pulls it back up so these are welded to that and to this plate and it just pulls the plate that way so put the pressure on the cable easy enough so <clears throat> please like subscribe leave a comment uh all that all right thank you god bless